Hello and welcome to another episode of Nedved Precision Shooting. Uh, we are going to do the NRL course fire for November, and it is a cold November day and uh, for sure. And that's why my wife is not out here today. Uh, so let's just get into it because I'm already cold. So we have fall break, uh, stage one. Uh, Richard Rogers made this course fire. He's a good buddy of mine uh, just south over in Nebraska. I've shot with him and his brother uh, often back in the day, and I just seen his brother. So, hey, thanks for uh, making this course fire, and, and apparently it's gonna be a tough one. So, let's give it a shot. So, this first one's gonna be all prone, uh, small KOL target. You're gonna have a, looks like a half and a quarter out there at 35 yards and at 75 yards. I'm, I'm not the smartest, because I put one target over here, one target over there, so you're gonna see me panning back and forth quite a bit. Um, might lift up the rifle, I don't know yet, but anyway. Shoot a small KOL target, large KOL target, and then the far target. So small, large, and then the KOL, or the far target, and then do it again uh, for all 12 rounds. And we got 12-ish in there, so it'll be fine, we'll just have to count them. So, should be pretty straightforward. Uh, it's a cold, windy day, and yeah. So, let's give this a shot, shall we? Um, I gotta do have to put my watch. I use the precision. I get the question all the time, so I use the precision uh, PRS match timer. It's a iPhone watch app or something like that. Um, so that's what I'm using. It's really nifty because all I gotta do is just click on it, set the part time two minutes, and just give it a shake, and then it's gonna start. So you guys see me using it. Ugh. I like it. It just works out that way. So, small than large, right? That's gonna be the big thing to remember. Small, then large, then, <laughs> when I set this up, I did not do it smart, because then it's way over there, then repeat. So, let's get it going. Time begins now. That's so small, small. Oh, gosh. It's like my first time or something. One, two, ooh, blurry, three, go back to this, one, Two, I guess this would be six technically, right? I think I've seen that one go off the right. Oh, I don't know where that's at. Oh, I forgot to hold over. Oh my gosh. That's six. There we go. Seven, eight. <clears throat> Should just hold over for it. There it is. Wow, it's a lot of wind out there. So, in one more set. 30 seconds. And 30 seconds left. At least I never missed that one. Parallax. Ten, nine, eight, huh. Seven, that was a little rough, six, wasn't it? Five, four, well, three, there's that. Two, don't forget to dial or hold over. Uh, if I were to do it again, I would just uh, hold over for that far one. Because if we look at it, then all you got to do is parallax. But with this wind, you have to make sure you're level, you know, and then you'd have to go up. Seven tenths or so, and it looks like a half millowind if you look right there. But yeah, you could just go right there and be fine. So, yeah, but with the wind, I'd probably dial it because looking at that. But yeah, let's move on to the next one. All right, so now we're on stage two. I got everything kind of here, trying not to get blown away. Um, 
So opening day is stage number two, 84 yards, a two inch and 97 yards, a three inch. They're out there somewhere. I don't remember where, but I'll know when I see it. Anyway, um, on the start signal, you will take a position on top of one of the props, five gallon bucket or the sawhorse and engage far than near with one shot each. You will then change props and engage the targets in the same order, so far than near. Uh, you will continue engaging the targets in the sequence at alternating props until 10 shots have been fired or time expires. The use of the tripod as rear support is optional, so we have it here. If used, it will be fully deployed prior to starting on the clock. So, don't mind if I do. Um, just take advantage of that right off the bat. Get that deployed. That should be at a good height or good enough. We just want it for that. Um, the targets are to the left of the KOL. Make sure we dial for the far. So my dope is 1.6 and 1.1. So if we do 1.1 and then hold over for the far, the only thing is the wind. Uh, so I'm going to dial five tenths to the right, because my low wind is five tenths to eight tenths. So that will be a good starting point for us. Uh, so yeah, we'll probably start the sawhorse and then we can drag that down. I don't know if I need it for that, so I might just leave it stationary. I think that's what I'll do. What I mean by that is the tripod, I need it for this, because we all know how my sawhorse is. But the bucket should be pretty stable without touching it. Um, it should be pretty stable. Uh, so yeah, the only other thing I would like is my, you guys probably know, the Grayops Pro Plate to help be a little quicker, a little more stable. There we go. So, two minutes on the clock. We'll leave the bipod on there just cause, and let's go. So again, I'm gonna count. Oh yeah, let's get this in here. The left of that. So remember, we need far, we need to hold over. Oh my gosh. Second time. Holy cow. All right. So far, it's probably parallax for out there. There we go. So hold over a half mil. We already are dialed for a half mil. A little high. And then this one here. What's going on here? Why don't you want to feed? We're just going to have all kinds of issues. Near, then far. Window's good though. Oh my gosh. We didn't have any issues in Pennsylvania. And now we're going to throw fit. At least it's here and not there. That one hit pretty good. Okay. Let's go down here. We're going to rush for time now with all those issues. Uh, let's pull over half mil. Oh my goodness. So I cleaned my rifle. I wonder, took it all apart, like every screw out is what I did. There we go. Oh boy. Get back up here. Oh boy, where'd it go, where'd it go, there we go. Holy cow, this has been horrible. Holy cow. So with those issues, I did not do well, but it's part of it. I don't know why, but after getting it, I see it's not seated uh, correctly. So I wonder when I took all the screws out to clean it, because it got rained on all weekend in Pennsylvania, just off and on, off and on, off and on. Um, I took everything out and I hadn't checked anything. So I'm gonna go inside, adjust that just a little bit, um, bring that down just a, just a smidge um, so it fits in here better and hopefully won't have the feeding issues then. But uh, yeah, that's the way to approach that. Um, yeah. Other than that, it was pretty easy. I got the wind call right. So, all right, I'm going to go address this, set up the next stage.
All right. So the third stage here, turkey trot like it's hot. Uh, we all know I don't have the pyramid uh, tripod thing. It's super stable, but I have this. So what I'm gonna do is you have to start on the left or the right. Uh, no matter where you start, you do have to start on the far target at, at 100 yards, three inch. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four, five, and then start over there. One, two, three, four, five, doing the same thing. Uh, so you're gonna do shoot, then move. So we gotta be quick about it. You're gonna shoot the far target five times, going far, 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 far. And then you go over there, near, 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 near. Basically, all that basically says that. Unless you guys see something wrong, correct me. Um, you guys do good at that. So we will do that. I'm gonna make sure I got a mag in this time. And then I have one eight. I got 0.6 dialed, I'll we'll do 0.5. Um, yeah, Sh medium, Sh medium heavy fill is the way to go with the Grass Pro Plate, as we all know. All right, so let's get the timer on. Boom, boom, and let's go. So be the outside left, but we still need to aim at that far target. I adjust my mag, I see that now. Do what I wanted it to do there. Oh, let's see. What? I need to adjust it up a little bit more as well. Oh, I thought I would have missed that. All right. Okay, got the wind figured out. Oh, Nick, Nick. There, that was more solid. This, whew, this is a little tall. Adjust that make more. And now we go to the near target, which is that. Go to here. No pads for my knees. 30 seconds. Oh boy, we're not gonna make it. Not with the mag issues. Oh, that's good for the barrel. Yep, now the mag issues we're having here. Holy cow. Time. My worst month yet. Holy cow. The mega issues, that will kill you. I just need to adjust it. That's all it takes. All right, but otherwise, no matter what, you're gonna have to really move. Uh, you're doing 10 shots, 10 different positions, at least only two target ranges. So, and I got the one figured out. But I'm gonna go in, adjust that one more time, and then probably check it off camera instead of just running it, so. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. And then set up the next stage. Let's go. All right, so we have the next one here. Uh, gobble till you wobble. So 55 gallon barrel staying three feet behind the prop. That's important because we need that later. All rifle, gear in hand, mag in, actual open, all that stuff. Mag in. <laughs> on the start signal, you will take a position on the prop and engage targets in the following fashion. Left target, then back to the start position. So back to that three feet. So I'm just gonna go over yonder or something. Um, yeah, that's gonna be more than three feet. So with, oh, sorry, I'll continue. The left target, back to starting position, right target, back to starting position, left target, et cetera, going back and forth. And then start position means standing with rifle and all gear in hand, three feet back from stepping forward and establishing the next position. So basically just have a object and just walk around it, basically. Um, continue this pattern until all the shots have been fired. So. Megan, so I got one target over there, another target over there, because you had to have them like 30 yards apart. 
So we're gonna put Meg in this time. Uh, guess that uh, wind should be about there. So I'm gonna bag this. So touching the prop beforehand, one guy chewed me out for saying it, but it's up to the master director. I'm the master director here. And then the master director that I go to that hosts NRL, you, you got two minutes to figure your stuff out. Doesn't matter what caliber of shooter you are. Uh, so you have target over here because of that target and then that target, and then I come back and reset. I would do bipod, but because of the panning and resetting and getting in there, I think it'd be quicker just whip down the bag, looking over my scope, get on that. And then look over my scope, get on that when you come back, you know? So I think just bag it this time. Uh, it's a little wobbly being on there. I do that on purpose. So let's, uh, let's get that a shot. So yeah, get this off. Meg is in this time. It says you start in the left position. So I'm gonna start back here as well, more than three feet. Boom, boom. Time starts now, now. There it goes. All right, so come up, do the left. And nicked it, top right. Okay, come back here, start again. Hey dudes, not the best shoe. We're running back and forth. All right. That one hit left, okay. So, go back here, go back again. That's two. Three. Okay, at least Meg's working though, right guys? Yeah. I adjusted that and shot a couple off camera. Glad we did. Oh, I'll miss that one. Here go back. Back again. All right. Neck that. Come back here. Go back again. Let's see here. Because the phone's ringing, I'm gonna bet my timer isn't working right. Maybe, I don't know. That one's solid. Oh, there's 30 seconds. So all gear, grab the bag, go again. Oh. Oh, about yanked that one. I think. I don't know, is that it? Nope. This one's it. What? Holy cow. This course fire. Kicking my ass. Oh. Whew. So, yeah, having that three feet is gonna be important, knowing where that's at. And just keep moving. Target acquisition is going to be important, but that's a good one. Way to go, Richard. Still got that five bucks on my uh, bulletin board that I won from you. Got to be fast. And he's telling me that this month. Let's get the next one. Uh, next one set up. Let's go. So for the last stage, turkey and stuffing. This has been a good course of fire so far. Too bad I'm not shooting it this month. I don't think there's a club in South Dakota that's hosting it. But anyway, uh, on the start signal, you will take a prone position, engage targets with one shot each from near to far, and then far to near. The far target will be the only left target, because from prone, that's a two inch on the left at 100 yards, and then there's another one on the right that's two and a half, and I put those quite a ways apart. I didn't know. Uh, anyway, uh, you will then move to any position on the tank trap above the half so you can be on the center or the tips, and then engage, do the same thing, three quarter, one inch, and then two and a half, two and a half, one, so doing the same thing. So let's see if I can at least clean one of these this month. So let's get a mag in. And then, oh, one thing that I usually forget, no dialing elevation, only magnification and parallax may be adjusted. So. Uh, we're at like 15 power, we're parallax for 100 because we're still on the other one. 
Um, go back to zero because at 52 yards it should be. Nah. No, it's not. Yeah, we'll just hold over. So, yeah. So, first one's prone. One, two, three, four, five, six, then move. Now I'm gonna go to the center, about right here-ish, and there'll be another red one out there. So, of course, medium with the pro plate. I already got a mag in, because we forgot that several times. And uh, we can go over here. Should be able to see all the targets. And let's get it going. Two minutes, ready, and go. So that first one, not adjusting parallax or uh, elevation, so I locked that and I took the wind out. Let's do two tenths. Ooh, that was good. Oh, I about touched it. And then four tenths. Okay, and then one eight with about a half on it. One eight, half right there. Got it. Oh, now I gotta do it again. Oh, I was worried about that one. One felt like it picked up. And four tenths. Got it. Count it. Okay. All right, now get up. Now do the other one. Center of it. Bipod should be fine. Oh, this leg is in the way though. Get right up and personal with it. All right, so we know this one is that. Oh, no, I missed it though. Then we got this that right there. Oh my goodness. I feel rock solid on it. And then we got this bigger one over here. Half mil. Okay. All right, let's see if we can't get this one back. Four tenths, two tenths, should be right there. Oh, that don't make no sense. And then this one. Huh. Well, at least we were able to finish one, guys. And you probably couldn't even see me because of the tank trap. But anyway, that was a good course fire. Not starting to rain, so glad we're just finishing up. So I just got back from Pennsylvania. We got rained on the whole time. Took everything apart. That's why we had a few issues, but glad we got it figured out before the match this weekend in Montana. So, good course fire, Richard. I like it. Uh, I'll probably run it again just for practice if it warms up again. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. Sorry, this was one of my worst ones. It's uh, too cold right now to try again, and it's time for supper. So. There's that. So thanks again, guys. We'll see you at the range.